A split verdict from the Delhi High Court on the issue of marital rape. Now, uh, we are in fact hearing that the two-judge bench of the Delhi High Court has delivered a split verdict on marital rape. What do we know so far? Well, Justice Rajiv Shakdeer and Justice Hari Shankar um, made up that two-judge bench. Justice Rajiv Shakdeer has said that... Uh, Exception 375, uh, which in fact um, challenges, uh, uh, pardon me, the uh, petitions filed in 2015 had challenged the exception that's provided in Section 375 of the IPC. That exception protects men who've had non-consensual intercourse with their wives from criminal prosecution. Well, one of the judges, Justice Rajiv Shakter, has said that the exception is violative of the Constitution and so he has struck it down. However, the other judge, the second judge, has said the exception does not violate the Constitution, which means that this is a split verdict now on the thorny subject of marital rape. The Delhi High Court uh, pronouncing a split verdict on a batch of pleas that had uh, sought the criminalization of marital rape, uh, a particularly uh, tricky subject while rejecting the center's request for more time to submit its stand on the matter. The two-judge bench had reserved their order after extensive hearings on the case in February this year. The petitions have challenged the exception provided in Section 375 of the Indian Penal Code. Now, this exception protects men from criminal prosecution. One judge has decided that uh, this exception violates the Constitution. The other judge feels that uh, the exception does not, in fact, violate the Constitution at all. What is this going to mean legally? Well, we'll have to go to legal experts um, to decide. Um, uh, and, and, and to tell us more about exactly what this will mean in cases of marital rape. But the big breaking story coming in from the Delhi High Court at this point is that there has been a split verdict on marital rape. One judge of the two judge bench believing that this marital rape is a crime. The second judge ruling that it is not. Therefore, therefore, we now know that this will in fact go to a larger bench. Effectively, this means that there is no decision uh, on the case and a larger bench will now be looking into the issue. So marital rape, the thorny issue, hanging fire yet again. This has come after uh, repeated delays. The center saying that it was beginning a consultative process on this and had asked for more time. The two uh, judge bench uh, refusing to give more time and reserving its uh, orders in February this year. And now we have a split verdict from the Delhi High Court. One judge ruling marital rape is a crime. The other ruling that it isn't. Effectively, this means this will now go to a larger bench. Arvind joining us with the latest on that. Arvind, tell us what happened in court. Ankita, a split verdict from the Delhi High Court on the issue of marital rape. Several petitions were filed before the Delhi High Court seeking to struck down the provision ex exception that has been given under Section 375 of IPC that is that pertains with the rape, offence rape. In fact, Section uh, Section Subsection 2 of uh, Section 374 of 375 of IPC gives exception for husband saying that if at all if a rape is committed by the husband with with his own wife uh, and not below the age of 18 then that cannot be construed as rape and that cannot be seen as an offense so that's an exception that has been given under section 375 of IPC so that was challenged before the Delhi High Court by several petitioners saying that that why this violates equality and uh, equality before law and that's why they want this particular section to be struck down this particular exception given under section 375 of IPC that is the rape section to be struck down so after a detailed hearing today the Delhi High Court gave its final verdict uh, a split judgment has been given by two uh, judges justice uh, Rajiv Sagdar has said that this particular exception that has been given for the husband in pertains to the rape offense is violative of constitution especially article 19 etc and that's why this particular exception given under uh, rape law should be struck down in fact justice Rajiv Sagdar has gone to an extent of criminalizing this particular marital rape that's the 
crux of the judgment given by Rajiv Sakthar, but whereas the judgment given by Justice Hari Shankar has gone to an extent saying that this particular exception given under Section uh, 2, Exception 2 of uh, Section 375 of IPC does not violate any particular uh, provision of the Constitution, and that's why he has dismissed the petition instead of uh, instead of uh, quashing this particular exception. So, Justice Rajiv Sakthar has termed that marital rape is a criminal offence, whereas Justice Hari Shankar has, uh, has ruled in a completely opposite way, saying that this particular provision cannot be struck down. So that's why it's a split ju judgment by both the judges. Now the matter has been referred to the Supreme Court, whereas uh, Justice Rajiv Sakthar has given, granted leave to appeal this particular judgment before the Supreme Court. So now the petitioners have to move that Supreme Court, challenging this particular split judgment by the Delhi High Court, in particular, in pertains to the uh, marital rape section. So effectively, Arvind, this now moves to the Supreme Court and would it be heard by a larger bench then in the Supreme Court? What happens next? Uh, Ankita, this need not this need not be referred to a larger bench. In fact, the petitioners can file an SLP special leave petition before the Supreme Court, challenging the judgment given by the uh, division bench of the Delhi High Court. So, two judges have given two completely opposite ju uh, split judgment in this particular matter. So, the petitioners can move uh, Supreme Court with an SLP, and Supreme Court can hear this matter as per their own rules and procedures. Arvind, just take us through some of the arguments we've heard in court. The lawyers arguing for the petitioners effectively saying that, uh, you know, the object of the rape law is to ensure that women do not get raped. And having an exception, uh, any exception at all, nullifies the very object of the rape law. So, uh, uh, did we get any sort of explanations from the judges on particularly the judge who said he did not believe uh, that the uh, exception to Section 375 was violative of the Constitution? Ankita, only the conclusive or the operative part of the judgment was read by both the judges. So the detailed judgment is yet to be uploaded right. on the website. Coming to the argument, the petitioners made this very important point before the judges. One, this particular exception that has been given under Section 375 of IPC, the section that pertains with rape offence, giving an exemption, giving an protection or an exemption for the husband is violative of fundamental right. It goes against Article 19, it goes against Article 20 and 21. These are the main uh, grounds on which the petitioners challenge this particular exception given under the rape section or the rape offence before the judge. So uh, the petitioners made this as a ground but whereas central government, central government changed, the, changed their stand uh, twice. In 2017 when this petition was filed, were filed in 2015 after a detailed argument when it came for hearing in 2017, uh, the central government filed an affidavit before the Delhi High Court saying that this particular, the criminalizing marital rape will affect the marriage as an institution. So that was the stand of the uh, central government before the Delhi High Court and in fact they went to an extent saying that the, all this petition should be dismissed because this cannot be entertained by the court. That was a main argument by the central government and they also argued saying that such a, a provision cannot be struck down in a PAL. So that was a main ground of the central government in 2017. Right. But in 2022 when the Delhi High Court took it, took the matters for a detailed hearing, centre changed, it, uh, changed its stand saying that they need a detailed or a wider consultation with all the stakeholders because yes. this also includes socio-legal implications. That's why they wanted a legal... Uh, wider legal consultation and they didn't want the High Court to proceed ahead with the matter. They said that let's give us some more time, we will consult with our own stakeholders and then we'll get back to the Delhi High Court. But the Delhi High Court made it very clear because all these petitions were pending since 2015 and Delhi High Court said that this has already taken seven years and we right. cannot wait any longer and that's why Delhi High Court proceeded with the hearing and now today the Delhi High Court has given a split judgment in this matter.